Okay, crazy hair kids, you ready for a fun day? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Jay. So today is crazy hair day, as you guys know from yesterday. And mom and Brielle are getting are getting at it. Take off her makeup. Ow! You got my eyeball. You rubbed on my eyeball. You, you do not need to wash eyeball. her eyeball. You didn't even need that one. You have another. <laughs> Today's crazy hair day, and we are going to make Brielle's hair look like a what? A garden of flowers. A flower garden, that's right. So this is gonna take a couple different steps because this is a little more complicated, uh, crazy hairstyle. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a bunch of different buns in her hair. So we'll start with that. Like Brielle was saying, that we're gonna cover her hair with flowers. So you don't have to do the buns really nice or anything. She actually just barely woke up, so her hair's <laughs> nice and tangly. <laughs> Yes, we will make lots of those. I'm gonna use my favorite bath pack brush. You can get these on Amazon for $5. Well, actually, it's two for 10. But they're really nice brushes. They, they're similar to a wet brush. So they help detangle. So I'm just, I've got her hair brushed out. I'm just gonna put buns, like I said, all over. And then we'll start putting the flowers in. Okay, so to do the buns, I'll just be using these little clear elastics and some bobby pins. I actually decided that I don't think that's gonna work as good as I was thinking. So instead of doing little buns, I'm actually just going to do a type of crown braid. So I'm just gonna French braid both sides of her hair around to the side like this, and then put it in a little ponytail, and then we'll start from there. Because I, want, I, didn't, I don't want her hair to be sticking up as much as, her hair's so long. If you had shorter hair, the buns would probably work. So instead I'm gonna do a Dutch French braid. All right, so I just braided one side of her hair. Now I'm going to braid this side and connect it over here and it'll be like a low side ponytail. Now I've got this braid completed, so I'm gonna connect it with this one here at the bottom into one ponytail. You can put your hair, I guess, however you want to get the basic to start. I just wanted, you want something that you can clip flowers into, clip things into, so this worked good for her. If you had shorter hair, you could put it up in buns. Okay, now we're on to part two, which is putting in the, the flowers. flowers. Now we're prepping the flowers and the butterfly for her hair. So I got a bunch of flowers at Walmart and we're gonna cut them off and I'm gonna hot glue them to a bobby pin. So then the bobby pin will just slide right into her hair. And then I also found this little butterfly that I thought would be fun to have in her hair too. So um, it was in like the outdoor section, it was connected to like a light. So I took this part off of it and then I'm gonna connect it to a little bit of wire and we're gonna get that in her hair too. Flowers just pull right off of these things and then we'll glue them. We'll hot glue them to the bobby pins. Oh, from the camera, it looked like you were in a stabber in the face. Oh. When you pulled the flower off and the, from my angle, yeah, I'm just I'm glad it's still on? there. You're not impaled, Rio. Oh, that's easy. Okay. I love how much they love crazy hair. No, it's like exhausting. <laughs> this morning at Walmart, I was like, am I seriously at Walmart at 7 a.m. getting stuff for crazy hair? Yep, day? the things we do for our kids, huh, Jay? Someday you'll be there. Okay, so all of the flowers are getting, are glued to their bobby pins and they're just drying right now. So I'm going to, I got this, I don't know what this would be called. It's kind of like, wire? let's see, yeah, it's wire. And I'm gonna wrap this piece around the base of the butterfly. And then I'm going to glue that to a headband. So she's gonna have a butterfly kind of floating up around her head. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the butterfly. I attached it with some hot glue. It kind of looks funny from the back, but then I used the wire and attached it to the headband. So now let's test it out in your hair. Okay, put it in. Ooh, Can it's I working. It? Oh, it looks like a real butterfly flying <laughs> out my hair. 
<laughs> we have all of the flowers prepped. So all we did was take a bobby pin and some hot glue and bobby pin the flowers. So we're just gonna put this all over her head. We're gonna put the headband in first so that we know where to place the flowers. Mm -hmm. So how does that feel? It feels good. It matches my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it does. A blue, blue butterfly for the blue eyed yeah. girl. Okay, and then I'm just gonna start sticking the flowers in. This is gonna be a crazy hair day for sure. Braid actually gives a good place to start putting the flowers into, so that worked out really well actually. How's it look? Good. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The prep was probably the, took the most time on this, but actually doing the hair was really fast. So she has the beautiful garden hair with all the flowers. Give us a spin. Oh, so pretty. And I'm just gonna hurry and curl her ponytail. But otherwise, she is flower gardened out. Yeah, I am. All right, remember we are figuring this out as we go. So, as soon as I got hers done, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more. So I went and made some leaves. So same thing, I just hot glued a bobby pin to the leaf and I had this little flower. And we're just gonna add a few more leaves in there to fill it out. But otherwise, it's looking so good. And we did curl her ponytail. This is a good hairdo because she does have to go to dance after school so she can take it out and she won't have to have, you know, like crazy blue mohawk hair while she's at dance or something. I love it. You do? I look like I have a real garden, garden in my hair. Okay, Miss Garden Brielle. I love it. It's so pretty <laughs> on you. Thanks. Okay, so this was probably one of the simplest crazy hair day hairdos we've done. Last year's was a lot more complicated and time consuming. This one was really easy besides prepping the flowers. So if you're looking for a simple crazy hair day, this actually looks really complicated but is simple. That is something that I would definitely recommend if you're looking, like I said, if you're looking for something simple but looks like you put in a lot of work. Crazy hair day, you ready? You ready uh -huh. for it? Uh-huh. Okay, let's go to school. Okay. Cosette, what do you think about Brielle's crazy hair? Do you like it, Cosy? Oh, look it. What do you think about Brielle's hair? We're going to school with crazy hair. <laughs> yes. Crazy, crazy hair. We've okay, got Mom, I, 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 I had a new idea what this Okay, spider. what's your idea, bud? We could get wires, but they're real, but they have fluff on them, and then uh, put them all over my head, and then put the spider in, and peeking out, and at school I can scare people. Ooh, yeah. Like it's gonna pop out. Well, the only thing is we gotta use what we have here because we don't have a lot of time because school starts real soon. All right, we'll see what we can come up with. For Bodies, I came up with an idea of, well, he had an idea for green and like a lizard or something, but when I went to Walmart this morning, they didn't have anything like that. But I did find a spider. And then we do have um, spider webs from Halloween. So I was thinking we could try to come up with something with spider webs. Ember's afraid of the spider. Do you think we can do it, buddy? Oh uh, yeah. We just turned this spider on and it is creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna hot glue with Bodhi's hairstyle too. I bought these little clips and I'm going to glue the spider to this clip and then we'll clip it into his hair because I wasn't sure how to get it to stay in his short hair. Boys crazy hair day is hard because their hair's short so you don't have as many options. So hopefully we can get this to work. Okay, so our spider is glued onto the clip now so we're gonna let it dry for a minute. And in the meantime, I'm going to spray Bodhi's hair kind of a silverish grayish color to match the webs. The webs, yep. This web is like a squishy toy. Yeah, so we've got spider webs. We've got the spider that is connected to the clip. And then we also have a few bobby pins. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is spray his hair a little silver. I actually had this spray left over because when I went to Walmart this morning, they were out of hair dye because everybody obviously is getting ready for crazy hair day. So luckily I had this left over from another Mom, can time. can you do my hair? Yeah, I'll do your hair. Okay, turn to the side. Yeah, put it in my arm. Okay, think that's silver enough? What do you think? Yeah. Now we're gonna do some spider webs. So I'm just gonna rip off a portion of this. And while his hair is kind of wet and pokey and spiky, we're gonna get this to spread out and be in his hair. 
It's like a helmet of spider webs. I bet it could look back to like, oh, when I'm not looking at them, they're looking at this spider and it'll scare them. Okay. But I want to do it in front so I can just run up and watch their face when it happens. <laughs> you want to be able to see their face when you scare them? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to fix the spider web a little bit before I put the spider in. So hold on. I can make your hands clap. All right, so I got these little scissors. I'm just gonna cut off some parts of the web that we don't want. All right, so now that I've got the web kind of figured out, okay, so now that it's got that clip in there, it's really easy just to clip in. Okay, now I'm gonna use a few bobby pins to just kind of secure the spider a little bit better. Okay, Bodhi's hairdo was super easy too because it was just the spider webs, the silver spray, and the spider. We used a couple bobby pins and some hot glue, but give us a spin. All right, my dude. Do you want to go surprise him? See if you can spook him. Okay. Oh, he scared me. Did he scare you? He scared me. Okay, crazy hair kids. You ready for a fun day? He's kind yeah. of getting stuck on my back. Oh yeah. Okay, love you. Love you too. Well, the kids are off to school now. It's 9.30 and I already feel like I've lived a whole day. <laughs> Really, those hairstyles were super easy to do. If you guys are looking for, like I said, easy hairstyles, those actually were easy. Um, plus, Brielle's, like I said, is removable. Bodie's is gonna be easy to take out too, so. Just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of prep, but the actual execution is fast. And I thought the result, the end result was pretty fun, so I'm excited to see what they think about their crazy hair when they get home from school today. Crazy day for parents, fun day for kids. Now I've gotta clean up this messy project house from doing their hair, but. It was totally worth it. So we're gonna wrap up for today and we will see you back here tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe.